Hi, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in to our short presentation. We are Barricade Building Products, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the rising lumber costs and different alternatives you have to OSB. My name is Darcy Overby, and I am the National Sales Manager of Barricade Building Products. Hello, and I'm Michael Raymond of the Raymond Group, and we represent the Mid-Atlantic for Barricade Building Products. So let's jump right in. Where are we today? So as you can see here, commodity pricing has gone through the roof over the past few months. Um, as of April on this graph here, you can see framing lumber. And ever since April, pricing has continued to increase and, and we're seeing unprecedented highs in the market. Uh, plywood um, is up 90% from a year ago. OSB is up 152% from last year. It's something we've never seen before. Oh, without a doubt. And and with COVID, uh, that's the beginning of it. Now you have hurricane season. You're also dealing with fires and mills that aren't able to produce uh, as quickly as uh, everyone needs, along with shortages in pressure treated and OSB and uh, random length. So it's, uh, it's something that is not going to stop anytime soon. No. So here you can see uh, Hayden Homes, a builder, had stated that they've seen price increases adding fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to an average cost of their home, and and that was when this information was pulled. We know this is changing, and and I've heard um, throughout the country that builders are actually more at an average of twenty to thirty thousand dollars now uh, increase in their average home costs. And the demand is there. So whether it's resale or new starts, the demand is there. It's not houses are selling in three, four business days on the resale market. So supply and demand uh, builders want to keep building um, and they need to do something to make sure that they keep their margins up. So, mm -hmm. yep. So with the state of the market, the way it is, and you saw the the framing lumber pricing in that first graph there, that has caused builders and contractors to be much more willing to get outside their comfort zones and try new things. I know change is hard. I know that a lot of us get stuck in our ways and we don't like to try new things. But at this point, with the construction market the way it is, you almost have to. Um, we had 47% of contractors say that they expected shrinking profit margins. So in an effort to try to alleviate that, 62% of them have had to try new products and try new things to help save some of that money. And, and with that, 45% uh, have tried a new supplier as well. So they're really, people are really open to now expanding and exploring their options. And that gets even more difficult because your supplier market is is not taking on new business because they don't have enough product and supply to handle switching builders or, or finding different contractors to deal with. So you're very limited as to where you can get product now, too. So true. Yes. So with that, let's talk specifically about the sheathing options that are on the market today and the differences between them. So the three main ones, we've got OSB, we've got our plywood CDX, and we've got our lightweight sheathing. So there are a few different factors that are really uh, taken into account by the builder or contractor before they choose one of these products. The first is the cost and the availability of it. It's got to be reasonable and available. The performance of the product and the ease of the installation. So let's go through each one of these and dissect the different options. So the first is cost and availability. If we look at lightweight sheathing versus OSB and plywood, the product is much more stable as far as pricing goes, and at this point, much more affordable as far as pricing goes. And, and OSB, despite what's happening right now, it always fluctuates throughout mm -hmm. the year. Um, so, I mean, the one thing that we're able to do is provide a consistent, effective product throughout the year. Um, it's not going to fluctuate. 
No, I think we've had maybe a price increase, maybe two in the past couple of years. So not only do we not increase pricing on lightweight sheathing frequently, but we can give our builder partners or our contractor partners plenty of time, 30, 60, 90 days in advance notice that pricing is going to change. Whereas OSB and plywood, you can be caught overnight uh, with, with the market changing and having um, high costed wood on the ground or, or not enough wood on the ground. So here's a good example of where we are today or where we were. So Chelsea Lumber Company, this is some of their OSB and CDX pricing. And again, we know that that this changes every day. So this was pulled on 914, but there's been a few days in between and, and we know that this probably isn't good today, but it is a good snapshot of the pricing and where it, it has gone. Um, it just unprecedented highs again. Again, if you go back into January, you can get you know, some of this stuff for high single digits, even low teens. Mm -hmm. So huge, huge difference in the marketplace right now. Yep. So then let's talk about performance a little bit. So there is a big concern with the lightweight sheathing and maybe the lightweight sheathing myth that it is so thin, people have a hard time understanding how can it be as strong or stronger than OSB. So our lightweight sheathing is about an eighth of an inch, a little less than eighth of an inch thick. And really the performance of our product, it truly performs as good, if not better than OSB. And it comes with the fastening pattern of the product. Yeah, and there's, there's a, a variety of other advantages, obviously over OSB, you have a weather resistant barrier built into the product. Uh, mm -hmm. All of our, boards are labeled for 16 inch on center so there's no guesswork as far as if you're going to hit a stud and that goes as well as installing siding uh, you know whether it's cement board or or vinyl siding so there are some ex some big differences as far as our product versus osb and uh, neither, neither one are nailable substrates in addition to that so they're not we get that question a lot if we're a nailable substrate osb isn't either so here, here's just a, a good comparison um, and something to show uh, engineers or architects that are asking about our product versus OSB. So all of the lightweight sheathing products out there have our products tested by a third party company and that third party company is DRJ. And what DRJ does is they test a piece of OSB to the point where it fails. And then they take that same test and they perform it on the lightweight sheathing options. Anything OSB is going to be the factor of one. So that's the standard one. Any, any number above a one means it failed before and did not perform as well as OSB. Any number lower than one performed better than by that much. So, for example, uh, on the chart here, you can see all of the lightweight sheathings perform better than OSB. However, our Barricade Thermal Brace Red lightweight sheathing by far performed the best as far as lightweight sheathing goes and um, was the strongest of all of them compared to OSB. And, and our product is obviously, it's a strong product. Um, we're one of the, the few guys that uh, has a, another product other than our eco or chip product mm -hmm. um, with the, the standard barricade thermobrace, but uh, it does have a lot to do with the, the fastening patterns as well, as uh, we are going every three inches in the body and on the frame of our boards. So it's, it's a big difference, but it is all, all there tested by DRJ and right there on your screen. All of that information is also available on our website. If you go to barricadebp.com, uh, all of our test data is there to be pulled whenever you'd like. So the last uh, factor here in selecting your sheathing is ease of installation. Again, people don't want to change. They want something easy. They don't want something that's much different than what they're used to. And our 
lightweight sheathing, just as in the name, is lightweight. It One person can handle it. One person can install it. And it's fast. And especially now with COVID, the ability to hire uh, contractors or subcontractors, uh, social distancing on job sites uh, versus OSB, the ability to handle lightweight sheathing, the Thermabrace product over OSB, you can do more work with more people on this site. One guy can handle the product as opposed to having a couple guys try and uh, shuffle off some sheets of OSB and, and get them installed. Uh, the other uh, advantage is the cutting tools. Um, you can use some handhold, handheld. Uh, I recommend a carbide tip blade or, or something with more teeth so you don't get any fraying. But the product itself cuts a lot easier. Um, I've got some guys that even use Dremel tools. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the other thing is, as far as installation goes, you now don't have to use a house wrap or WRB because our product is already coated on both sides with a polyfilm that is your house wrap. So you don't have to go around, you don't have to buy the house wrap, you don't have to buy the tape, and you don't have to have a laborer go around the house again um, after your sheathing is installed. It's already done for you. Yep, and you got three ways to do that. You can tape the seams, you can overlap the boards. We make a, a board three quarter inch wider, so you can overlap all of your, your seams, or you can um, still house wrap your product if you have a logo wrap um, with the builder's logo on it and uh, on the barricade product. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk specifically and get a little bit more in depth here, uh, just the bar the barricade product alternatives to OSB here. So the first product we're going to talk about is the barricade Thermobrace Eco. So this is our recycled product. Uh, just like all of our competitors' products on the market, they are also all recycled. This is our recycled option. Um, it is, again, three-in-one. It is your structural component, it is your air barrier, and it is your weather barrier all in one. Um, it has the nail lines on it, as Michael had said, down the center of the panel, 16 inches on center, and on the edges of the panel, so it's very simple to know where to nail it. Uh, we do standard 4x8, 4x9, and 4x10 sizes. And again, you can do those oversized so you can overlap the panels and not have to tape the vertical seams or just a standard 4x8. And then as you can see on the bottom of the screen, there are three different grades. So the difference in the grades are the thicknesses, which allow each panel to hold a different amount of shear. So in our eco grade, they all hold shear but to completely replace a house um, using OSB, you would start with our Eco Red product. In comparison, we have our Barricade Thermobrace. Um, this, the difference here between the Eco product, they serve exactly the same purpose. They're both the three-in-one product, however, this product is very unique compared to everything else on the market for lightweight sheathing and the fact that it is not recycled. We are made from virgin long fibered craft material. So again, this, this is going to be the strongest lightweight sheathing on the market. If you're going to replace OSB, I would strongly recommend using the Barricade Thermal Brace. With this product, the red, green, and blue, again, they're all structural, they all hold shear, but in this one, you can actually um, use green or red to do the portal walls as well, which is very important. Yeah, the nice part with the, the thermal brace and, and the Eco has some uh, ability to do the same thing, but with the thermal brace specifically, you're, you can replace OSB and not have to do any other corner bracing, um, worry about dropping in additional lumber in certain spots. Uh, and that's 90% of the homes that you're building. There, there are some recommendations in coastal applications or um, you know, other specific areas, but 90% of the homes you're building, it's a clean replacement. Yep. Um, 
and and this product right here is uh, especially the the thermobrace is the most uh most comparable performance product to osp uh in the marketplace like uh, darcy said it's it's the strongest performing product out there amongst uh the thin wall uh sheetings yeah and you don't have to do anything different as far as the fasteners either you can use inch and a quarter coil roofing nails or you can use a 16 gauge one inch uh inch and a quarter leg staple so something that is readily available so our other product option is our barricade thermal brace sib so what this is it's our four-in-one product so not only are you getting the barricade thermal brace structural component you're getting your air barrier again and your weather barrier, but now we can attach either an R3 or an R5 neoprene that allows the product to have an R value. Um, and the neat thing about our product versus the other products on the market that have foam attached is ours is the only one that's reversible. And that's a huge factor for the installers uh, for the hardboard on the outside you can gun it with a nail mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the framers out there that's their preference um, and if you want to go hardboard to the studs and uh, have the foam on the outside you can use your your crown staple in that circumstance um, like our other competitors um, some of the other advantages to um, our SID product uh, we're not using um, polyiso on the foam. So we're using a Neopore product, uh, which is one of the best products out there. Um, and we get that with uh, the BASF uh, Neopore product. So it's not going to dissipate as far as your R values go. Um, you put that board up and, and uh, um, you've got an inch and an eighth on the, uh, on the R5 product and uh, three quarter inch on the R3. Another big, uh, big opportunity for SIB is on like commercial product product projects where you've got continuous ed, continuous insulation requirements. Mm -hmm. So multifamily buildings like commercial hotel motel, there's a lot of opportunity for SIB in the marketplace. That's right. So we are barricade building products. We've been around since 1986 uh, manufacturing building products and the neat thing about us is our plant is in Doddsville, Virginia, and all of our products are made in that same place. So you can actually mix trucks of all of our different building products to come to your location. Not only do we manufacture the few different structural sheathing lines we talked about, but we also manufacture uh, multiple different house wrap lines. We've got our structural sheathing. We've got a couple different synthetic roof underlayments. We've got multiple different window and door flashing options and our construction tape. With that, thank you very much for listening to our presentation and we look forward to hearing from you.